All right, I talked about it on the podcast. I didn't know if y'all really care, but this one is kind of difficult to explain without a visual. <clears throat> so this will post to YouTube, possibly, maybe just Facebook. I don't know. It depends on whether or not they ban my channel in the next couple of days. But I built a bench loader for AR magazines. I've only tested it with GI magazines or these reproductions because that's all I have on hand right now. It might work for PMAG. It might not. I don't know. But the basic idea, if you've never seen one of these before, is that you chuck a magazine up in here, and I've got this routed out just so it'll barely fit, and it's nice and secure, and then you take your rounds and slide them between these two rails and kind of line them all up like so. And now we're going to cut to some high-speed footage so you don't have to watch me stack all these rounds in this goofy little contraption. Now, I have a full 30 round stack to bin here. I have this thing marked at 30 and at 28. 28 I find really useful if you want to stuff one of these magazines in, in a closed bowl. 30 rounds, a really compressed spring, it's a bastard to get it in there. But if you want to keep one in the rifle, you know, without one in the chamber, I find 28 works a little better. 30 rounds works really good if you're doing a reload. But the general idea is, I have all 30 of these rounds, they're all lined up nice and neat. As you can see, there's not a whole ton of wiggle room between these two rails. And when you get down to this end, it's even less. I got this put together in a machine fairly well. Did all this work freehand with a router. But the idea is you hold the magazine down, use this little shuttle, and 30 rounds in the magazine just like that. The benefit to a bench loader is that I've got this thing built such that it inserts the rounds directly between the feed lips instead of hitting either one of the feed lips. So you're actually saving yourself arguably maybe a little wear and tear on the magazines over time. More importantly, you're saving wear and tear on your thumbs when you have to load a ton of these things. I'm not going to do this on the clock. I don't really care if it's fast or not. It certainly doesn't take any more time than loading magazines. And if any of y'all out there have ever loaded a bunch of these things at once, you know that by the time you get to like three, four, five, ten of them, your thumbs are freaking destroyed. So, cost me nothing. A little bit of scrap wood, afternoon of time, and um, if anybody's curious, I'll happily share the dimensions and some of the measurements I figured out if anybody wants to kind of try their hand at building one. You will need a way to cut the wood, which I recommend either a, either a skill saw or I, I did most of this with a, a saber saw. And it's very helpful. It's required to have a router with a roundover bit and a straight cut bit and some way to measure stuff. But let me know in the comments if you found this even remotely interesting. If you think this is a huge waste of time, tell me that too. I don't mind the feedback. But I wanted one, and I wasn't paying 130 bucks to Upalula for one of theirs, so I made one myself.